Hello everyone and welcome back to a discussion of Bardo. Uh, I'm just going to say flat out this was a fantastic chapter. I would say like an 8 out of 10 chapter uh, again. Uh, there's there's even some real life uh, zoom calling uh, we get with the five Hokage. So pretty, pretty interesting chapter basically right out of the gate, which is unusual for Bardo to just kick it up notch like that. Um, so right off the bat, we ended where we stopped the last time. Code, uh, act, you know, ends up releasing uh, the cyborg woman named Eden, uh, I think it is. And Bug says he's naive because he doesn't really understand what she is and all that. And it, she's pretty amazing. She's omnipotent, omnipotent to the point where she actually is able to have seen the events of Ishiki's death. And, uh, and she actually find finds it comical. Uh, we'll get into we'll get into her motives. They're kind of weak, but at least they are motives. Um, I don't know when you have a villain and you have a group of villains that don't have motive. Um, it's way worse than even any bit of a motive. So trust me on that. As I you know, it's very very important that we have a motive and a reason for her doing things. And same with Code. We have partial reason there. Um, the five Kage are actually the ones, you know, especially Gar is the one that says, you know, Naruto, could you, can you really take out your son if he becomes a threat like an Otsutsuki, like Momoshiki? And he's like, well, you know, I'll need to do what I need to do as Hokage, you know, to keep the people safe. But it's like, ah, you know, it's a very, it's kind of a mess now, you know. Will Naruto actually be able to was you know, stop, you know, Baruto's transformation uh, with these pills, which, I mean, these pills look very, very, very reminiscent um, during the Chunin exam arc, you know, after that whole thing with Sasuke and getting the curse mark. This this whole reminds me of that whole situation, and then, you know, Sasuke had to take those little pellets in order to not completely, uh, you know, transform into the, you know, the curse mark stage two. Um, so it's, it is, I feel like it's a callback to that. I, I mean, I'm sure that it is. Uh, it looks very similar. And this is where we find out that, um, that the sci that the Amada scientist guy, <laughs> that's all he really is. I mean, he doesn't really have too much of a personality beyond that. But he did, did have a kid, he did have a life before this, and she died 12 years ago. So we can deduce, and especially it goes right from this transition, you know, and, and he also said something interesting where he's like, oh, you know, I don't need to tell you this, but don't have your, your, your daughter or, or wife take these pills, which is kind of odd. I feel like that may or may not happen, um, just because it was kind of oddly referenced. But then we actually end up, uh, right after he says that his daughter died, we get this transition to this Eden woman. So I, I don't know. I definitely do think that it's possible, pl plausible, that it is his daughter. But again, why would he exactly give her this much power? Um, you know, maybe it was an experiment that went wrong. Code also has this weird ability where he puts this leather strap on things and he can, like, you know, put a body part coming out of it. So I, I don't know what's going on there, but it definitely looks cool. Uh, like I said, Eden's design is one of my favorites so far from any bar to original character. Really cool design. I love how, but the weird, the, I, the thing, I, I don't mind that she can see everything and that she, she can see the past up until her age, uh, that she knows all this intentions and stuff. That's fine to me, but the thing that's kind of jarring is that, oh, Code's all of a sudden in love, and it's like, well, I guess that Code had liked her before, but we didn't, you know, he didn't actually confess his feelings before, but then she, you know, she says that, you know, she loves... Kawawaki for the fact that he destroyed Ishiki in, in an embarrassing way and all that. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a little strange. But like I said, we have motive and we have reason for, uh, you know, for Eden at least. Don't know why she would join with Code other than the fact that he released her probably. But it's just very interesting seeing these two characters interact, talking about love, talking about their lives with like literally no expression. Um, Pretty interesting, pretty kind of creepy almost. Um, and then he kind of mentions, oh, Baruto's also almost an Otsutsuki, because, you know, the Otsutsutsuki won't fall for her, so that's the whole thing. Which is kind of interesting how she didn't just say to Code, like, oh, you know, you're an Otsutsutsuki, so, you, so why did he fall for her? Um, but I guess he's not. 
Um, I guess he just has uh, Ishiki's chakra. Um, and, you know, it, I kind of like this bar scene. It, it is pretty interesting, you know, seeing two villains laid back, you know, having like, a camera on the wall. Um, definitely think it's a pretty interesting concept to see these two characters uh, interact like this. Uh, moving forward, I don't quite understand exactly how they're going to infiltrate the village. I feel like Eden's just going to end up, you know, <laughs> turning her back on Code, you know, because of love. Uh, I would hate that reason, but then I kind of don't like her powers just because Sasuke and Naruto are going to be simping, I guess, for her because everyone essentially simps for her because she can just control everyone's heart and she has basic you know she can't have a real love because she doesn't know if it's real or not which is really really weird um yeah i don't know if this ability would work on you know people like sasori or the edo tense or even kakuzu who had who had multiple hearts um that would be interesting to make for a video i guess <laughs> Um, but yeah, it is interesting to see where, well, where, where are these two characters going? Are they going to infiltrate the village? Are they going to gather more people? I don't really think they need more people. Um, I guess I can actually see a scenario where they're going to gouge out, uh, Amato's, uh, eyeballs. She does say she hates him, um, for turning her into that and also for the artificial love. So I don't really necessarily vie with what the fans are saying where she's, uh, his daughter. I think it's more likely that probably Delta is her daughter, uh, is his daughter. So I don't know. I'm pretty confused, um, but I am pretty impressed with what Kishimoto has done so far with taking over the series in the writing department. It's been really a blast to actually see these characters interact in this manner, and I absolutely love this new character of Eden. Um, I, and most certainly, I'm not. <laughs> Not in love with her immediately like like her ability does, but I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. She, you know, this is this is an, another side note is that Kishimoto really does a very good job with uh, giving a character uh, motive. You know, why why do they want to be why do they want to be a horrible person? Why do they want to destroy something? Whatever the reason is, but then they, he also gives us a reason for it. Um, and we have a motive of her being wanting to be with Kawaki because he doesn't fall for her and it could be like a real love scenario, which, you know, Kawaki's not going to give two shits about her. Um, but then we also get this kind of, uh, reasoning for why she hates everything and wants to destroy it is because she doesn't, she can't feel real love. Um, so it's a very good, you know, contrast here. Um, we need that reason from Code to be honest, just so we can, you know, empathize with his character a little bit more and go, okay, we got both sides to this. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't, I really, it's amazing the, the multitude of directions we can go. This dojutsu she's got is extremely powerful, and I just can't wait to see more of her and Code. And, uh, so anyways, uh, really good chapter, and I will see you till next time. Bye.